Hey girlfriends, welcome back to the channel for another video this week. If you're new here, my name is Jerenica Mycia, but all my friends call me G. And if you're a tiny subscriber, thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure to follow me up on Instagram, girl, for all of the fabulous updates and come back each week for weekly uploads. So today I have a fun video. Today we're going to be doing cop or drop and I'm going to just share a few luxury items that I feel like I want to know if you guys will be copping or dropping. Either copping you're buying dropping mm -mm, girl leave it where it's at so if this is something that you feel like you want to see girl just keep watching all right so first up i have these saint laurent sunglasses i believe these are pretty new to the scene and oh my god y'all i first saw them scrolling on instagram and the queen herself miss nene leaks had them on and when i tell y'all she sold them to me i didn't need nobody to tell me nothing now i can't lie when i went to the website to see the price i was a little taken back okay i haven't spent that what I don't think I've ever spent a thousand dollars on sunglasses. Now, I love these glasses, but I was like, I don't know if I want to spend a thousand dollars. Especially the fact that nowadays these luxury items drop and then the next day another website have them um literally on sale for like 40-50% off. So so when I saw Nene with these on, y'all, I ran to the website and I was like, I don't know if I want to pay the price. So I posted on my story, I was like, I need these, okay? And my DMs was flooded with all of the girls sending me these glasses on sale for like the cheapest ones I saw were. I want to say 545 I was lost for words these glasses I believe retail for 960 and they just dropped and they were on sale for like $500 now $500 that's a little more around my uh, price range I a thousand dollars girl I just oh that's that's steep for a pair of sunglasses now I purchased the glasses on sale so I went in Saks and I asked was it Saks? Yeah, I believe it was Saks. And I ended up trying these sunglasses on. I did not love these glasses on me. I was very disappointed. I feel like my face is very full. And with sunglasses, I'm very particular. I'm very picky. I need the frame to be wide. And I need the frame to really fit my face. Especially with my cheeks. I was very upset that these glasses did not fit me. I feel like these are the type of glasses that I would have to like check back when I lose a few pounds or maybe it'll look better on me when I don't have um when I wear like my regular real hair not like a wig because with the with the unit and the cheeks it was just like these glasses I felt like were super small on me and I was also wondering would I get tired of this uh Saint Laurent the emblem on the side but I feel like it's just these are a moment these are so sick I feel like they're black you always need a pair of black sunglasses but I'm also I think I've kind of like moved out of the logo so I was kind of like a little like will I get tired of seeing the Saint Laurent on the side I don't know but I know these are hot so with these I'll say these are cops I literally copped them I returned them because I didn't love them on me but the crazy thing is this I'm low-key regretting returning them because I'm like what if I never find them for the price that I paid but lately if I don't like something I have to return it now instead of just holding on to it so I did return these they're beautiful I would recommend buying them maybe at the end of the summer when I'm kind of like over wearing my units and I'm wearing my real hair I'll check back for these but these are definitely a cop because they are fire next up i have the saint laurent jippy sandals now i saw these um and i actually tried these on in black i did not know they come in brown like this golden brown or bronze brown these are some nice sandals now what i love about them if you don't try them on just on a mannequin or in the store they just look like a pair of regular strappy sandals but when you put them on they have like this crystal detailing and it is so beautiful on the foot now the black is super sexy, but girl, that brown, when I saw the brown, I was like, oh, this would be a nice shoe. It kind of reminds me of a elevated version or a more judged up version of like a Tom Ford padlock, but these are so pretty. But the only thing about them, I was talking to the sales associate, I was like, a lot of people are going to pass up on these shoes because if you do not try this shoe on, it does not it don't look like much um if it's just sitting out in a department store but as soon as you put it on it's a banger girl so for me i would say these are definitely a cop um i do not i want to say these retail for maybe like eleven hundred dollars which 
probably is the same price of the Tom Ford padlock. But girl, nowadays, y'all know how the sales go. So if you can get them on sale, I'm gonna say wait for the sale, girl. With these sandals, I'm not sure if they come in other colors so far. I've only seen a black and a brown, but I do feel like this is a timeless classic sandal that you can have in your uh, collection. And you can wear these in the daytime or nighttime. They're very um, sexy, very elegant. And with the rhinestones on it or the stones, it just gives a little more zhuzh version of a um, barely there sandal. Now next up I have a pair of slides and I wanted to show y'all these slides because if you're like me, you love an archive piece and sometimes you can't find them, you always look for like a dupe or something very similar. Now I got these slides, well I don't have them, I didn't order them because I want to try them on in person, but these slides are by the brand Schultz and oh my god, this is a Celine dupe. If you're like me and you remember those Celine uh, slides with the oversized buckle, girl these are good. They have, but what I like about these, they have a bamboo buckle. This is so good. They come in and brown and they come in black i feel like this is a cute little affordable slide affordable is subjective child this is a cute slide that uh you can wear throughout the spring summer and even transition into fall because of the um color which is the brown the black and the gold hardware is just sickening i think they did such a good job with the bamboo um buckle now the one con that i have with these i believe on the black i saw white stitching when i see a black shoe with white stitching it just irritates my soul and i'm just like why so if i was to get these most likely i would get like the white stitching painted black because i hate white stitching on black shoes or brown shoes or dark shoes in general i just feel like it does it just irks my soul but these i'm gonna definitely say is a cop because these are fire for these slides with some gold anklets, some white toenails, I feel like this right here is going to be a vibe. So I look forward to trying these on. I think I'm going to order them. And the only reason I like to try certain things on in person because certain slides lately, they've been fitting me weird. So I actually have to like buy three different pairs of the same shoe and then return. And I'm so over that girl. But most likely I'm going to get them in a 39 and a half because my regular size is a 39. So I'm going to get a 39 and a half just to be on the safe side. And then I'm going to come back and tell y'all how um, I like them. So you need to be watching the vlogs because most likely that's where I'm going to update you guys. But these right here, I'm going to get these because I have yet to find the Celine buckle sandals, which the, I believe that's like the Western Celine slide. Girl, those are so sick. So when I saw these, I was like, oh. This is the closest that I might get to them, so let me hop on it. Next up, I have the Saint Laurent Jerry Sandal. Now, for me, this is definitely a drop. I would not be purchasing these or even looking twice at these. Me, personally, I don't like them. It's definitely given pretty woman mixed with 1999 prom and the crystals and the Saint Laurent. It's just a whole lot of lot of, and I just don't like it. I feel like these shoes look super tacky. So if you have these, girl, no shade, all tea, so catch it, don't sip it, okay? But for me, this is not my vibe. When I saw these, I just was like, oh, I don't like it. It's just too much going on. And I believe they have like a little buckle on it. I'm just like, pick a side. Pick a side is definitely giving early 1999, early 2000s, 1999 prom. And I'm just not feeling it. So for me, this is a big drop. This is drop it. Leave it where it's at, girl. So next up I have this Raffia Burberry hat with the um, Burberry logo in this baby blue. I love this hat. I love this, but this is also another piece that I would have to try on in person because anytime I'm buying a hat, I like to try them on in person because it needs to fit on top of the unit, girl, okay? Lately, I've really been into bucket hats, so when I saw this, I thought this was super cute. Now, usually when it comes to Burberry accessories, I'm never really impressed, but this, I'm like, okay, this would be cute for like the pool, the beach, you know, giving a summer vibes with maybe like if I wanted to wear it with like a white baby doll flowy dress, a maxi dress, I think this could be super cute with like, you could do a brown bag with it. You could do a bl baby blue bag. I feel like this could be uh, definitely cute for the spring summertime. Now with this piece, I feel like I would have to see it in person to see if I feel like it's a cop. I'm not gonna say it's a drop. So it's kind of like I'm in the middle, but I'm leaning more towards cop because if I tried it on and I had on a, listen, anytime I try on a hat or something and I have on the right lip gloss and sunglasses, you're coming home with me. So I would love to try this on in person, but for right now, I'm gonna say she a cop because she's really cute and right now I'm really feeling bucket hats. I feel like they give you like a little edgy vibe but with this one by being textured in a raffia I feel like this would be perfect for spring summer. Next up I have these Gucci espadrilles and I'm gonna say drop them. Drop, 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 drop it. Leave it alone. Leave it where it's 
ass you got them no shade all tea girl so these i just don't like them i feel like they look super cheap i feel like for the price it's just like with Gucci, I would love to see Gucci try something new. I want to see them get away from the um, Gucci emblem. We understand Gucci is Gucci, but I would love for you guys to, you guys, I'm like they watching, girl, please. I would love for them to just step out and give us something else. We don't need you to put plaster Gucci and the G's on everything. We get it. I want to see them do something else. I feel like the Espadrille sandal or slide could have been super cute if they would have maybe gave us like a satin fabric with me. I love when they did the, like the Bambi TN print. Give us something else. Like give us something besides the Gucci logo. And I hate it. I absolutely hate this slide. Now, for those of you who may like this slide, this is only a beach slide, a pool slide. And for me, for the price, girl, even the white, I just don't like it i just don't like it and just imagine wearing these all day while you're outside at the beach or whatever when you take off your shoe you're gonna have this big old gucci logo um on your feet because of the sun and what if you want to go out the same night and you want to put on another pair of shoes now you're just looking a fool <laughs> this is a drop it's, this is really bad it's a drop next up i have a swimsuit and it's a swimsuit from Balmain. and for me I would love to cop, but I'm going to say drop. The only way I would purchase a designer swimsuit is if I can get it um, on sale. I'm talking about a discount on top of the discount, on top of that discount, on, then on top of that discount. Because with designer swimsuits, how, I mean, how many times could I really wear it? Like, come on. I don't want to show up in the same swimsuit every time. And with designer luxury swimsuits, they're usually very vibrant and in your face, kind of like this one. But what I love about this, right now, girl, I'm a, I am... Here for metallics i love this metallic um silver and i'm just like oh this would be so pretty when you all oiled and bronzed up however i would love this even more if it was like a bronze uh goldy color but this uh, i think she's fire but for me i'm not paying 500 dollars for a um designer swimsuit so i guess you can say for this i'm in the middle because me personally i'm not copying it but i don't want to drop it because she's fabulous she's so fabulous okay next up i have the valentino tango transparent platform now i actually got the chance to see these in person girl it's definitely giving she's a high class stripper and <laughs> she's working hard for her money but it's definitely giving like a pretty woman a 2023 pretty woman it looks like a stripper ship it definitely do this is something that i feel like should only be on the runway now i don't really see this being a shoe that is timeless it's literally a elevated stripper shoe that's what that's the first thing that came to my mind because it's see-through like a stripper platform and i just was like girl girl okay i get it pretty woman child for me this is gonna be a drop now when it comes to the um valentino platforms i feel like these um platforms are amazing but the transparent platform i think it was a little much it was a little much i would have to see somebody style this up now i did see this on a runway and i like the way that they styled it but i honestly didn't think that this shoe would come into production and when i saw it i was like oh okay i don't think it's worth it but okay and then i'm also not really a transparent shoe girl it's just i, I don't know it's weird so for me this is gonna be a drop all right, girlfriend, so that is all that I have for this video. Comment down below. Let me know some cops and drops because I'm always interested, girl. When it comes to the fashions, what you guys are purchasing and what you don't like, what you're thinking, we always chatting about it. So let's chat down in the comments. Tell me what you're thinking about purchasing, what you're not going to purchase, all of the things. Now, if I said anything negative about any piece up in this video, and you may have one of the items, girl. Like I said, this is no shade all tea, so do not catch it, girl, it okay so if you enjoyed this video go ahead give this video a big thumbs up like share comment and subscribe and i will see you girls in the next one